But unless you've been born of the Spirit, you'll never see or enter the kingdom of heaven. That's what Jesus told the religious man. And so I simply tell us, I simply say to us today, friends, heaven, and I will refer to these verses in a few minutes at the cemetery, heaven is prepared for everyone who will put our faith and trust in Christ. John 14 says that, and I'll read it at the cemetery. But at the end of day, at the end of life, nothing else will matter. This guy and his religion is not what Jesus was looking for. He was looking for him to put his faith in Christ, embrace him by faith, believe in him as Savior, because at the end of the day, nothing else will matter but what we have done with Jesus. As I said earlier, Patsy loved the Lord, she loved the church, she loved you. And at the end of the day, when we cross that bridge from life to death to eternity, the only thing that will matter then, friends, is what we have done with Jesus. We're going to hear one more song. Then we're going to have an announcement or two and a closing prayer. Tell me what does it look like in heaven? Is it peaceful? Is it free like they say? Does the sun shine bright forever? Have your fears and your pain? Is it? 
at the close of our service, I'm going to invite our funeral directors forward. They will escort the casket and the family out. You follow along behind them. You have two options. One, we would welcome you to come with us to the cemetery for a short committal service there. If you're not able to, the family has said, please go ahead and start lunch. It's in the fellowship hall directly behind you. Once we have the committal service taken care of, we will be back to join you. But if you can't come, that's okay. You go ahead and go to lunch. We'll be back shortly. If you'd like to come with us, we're going to go in an orderly fashion. Turn your lights on and your flashers and such, and we're going to proceed out there, and we're going to have a committal service there. Let's pray. Father, thank you again for the beauty of life. Thank you for Putsy. Thank you for these memories. May this family's heart, hearts, continue to be full of the memories of Putsy, their sister, wife, mom, grandma, mother-in-law, friend, all the things that she has been. May their hearts continue to be full of those wonderful memories. Thank you, Father, for the hope of heaven through Jesus. Thank you, you've not left us here on our own. You have sent Jesus. And so, thank you that Putsy loved the Lord. And thank you for that promise that is ours. Whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Comfort this family with these words. Bless the food that has been prepared. Bless the hands that have prepared it. Bless it to our bodies and continued fellowship. Grant us safety as we go to the cemetery and back, Lord. We pray this all in the name of Jesus. Amen. Queen! 